As a researcher in the field of memory loss, I know how daunting it can be to reach results for patients with Alzheimer's syndrome. As someone who's felt the effects of this disease personally, I truly understand that all that matters is life. And our lives, ladies and gentlemen, are nothing more than our memories. I thank you. I'll be back. I thought you were over doctors. Oh, I'll be all over Dr. Mills tonight, trust me. I'm gonna be all over my bed. You got an early start, man. I'm just exhausted. Aw, don't forget to pack your diapers, little baby. Look, well, I'm working my ass off. You're flirting with doctors and checking on your fantasy football team. That's why I'm always in the playoffs, baby. <laughs> You think you have problems? Try being a single dad. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about? I'm talking about I haven't had a decent breakthrough in over a year and a half, right? A year and a half. I'm touring, I'm speaking, on what, I ask you? Taylor, it makes sense. Listen, you're trying to do something good for society as well as for your mom. Trying to cure a disease takes time. I look at her, right? And I think in 10 years' time, that's going to be me. Pretty soon, I'm not even going to recognize you. Hey, you don't know that for sure. You know, I got a 50% chance of having Alzheimer's. Yeah, but you shouldn't think of it like that. Come on, you gotta live your life, man. One more shot. Rico, one more shot, please. Dr. Briggs, you have an urgent message. It's from the hospital. Thank you. I knew you were in Brazil for the convention. I am Dr. Costas, head of neurology for the hospital. We got your message, got here as soon as we could, and uh, here we are. We don't, uh, not exactly sure as to why. At first, we, could be, we uh, diagnosed it as a uh, cerebral hemorrhage. Right. Then the MRIs came back. We've never seen anything like it. Really? Please, come. This is Dr. Salvo, the attending physician. Who is it? We don't know her. We think he's American. What's that on his skin? A red ochre. Amazonian Indians up a river use it as a tribal body dye. And how can we help? If you will just take a look at his scans, you will understand. As you can see, the tumors have formed in each there. area didn't with memory. We would appreciate your input. Did you have anything with him? Uh, just that. Ow. And what is this substance? We're not sure. He had ingested a great deal of that powder. When he dies, where will the postmortem be done? Due to the unknown condition, the authorities demand that we cremate him immediately. I want to say cancer, but I've never seen cancer attack memory centers so selectively. You ever seen anything like that? Never heard of anything like that.
Tyler, we're gonna miss this flight. Damn it. What the fuck happened to you? I don't know. You're soaking wet. I don't know. I'm dehydrated. Did you go out again last time? No. I took a shower. <laughs> you bang your head or what? God, that all seems so real. Oh, so real. I was chasing this guy. He had a black Burberry overcoat. Burberry? Nice, buddy. Oh, crap! What? The I'm such an idiot. The powder. I got that it's just, fucking it's powder just a on my... No, Don't man. I got a whole... This flight. My club go. had a rip in it. I got... Ah, shit! Come on! that was here. He died a few hours ago. You know where Dr. Costas is? I'm not sure. I think he's gone. Thank you. Hey, you. Oh, hey. What's she doing? Oh, good. She's been smiling ever since we started watching Jerry. <laughs> George and Jerry? What else you watch? Well, we do Crocodile Hunters at 7. Oh. Then we shop on QVC for about an hour. Nice. Mm -hmm. Carol dropped off another one of those crazy study things for you. Crazy. OK. I'll see you later. Start safe. Thank you. Bye. Got another one for the collection?
<laughs> Surprise, how are you? Happy birthday. Yay. I told you I'd get you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Have a drink. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> get the shit out of you. Hey, buddy, how are I didn't know I had so many friends. Well, they just came here for the free booze. It ain't the art. <laughs> you know, I, um... I went to see your mother while you were gone. Did you happen to get the report that I left for you? I did, but I, I didn't get a, a chance to look at it. Mm. You know, I think that I finally found someone for you. Believe it or not. Really? Just easygoing, a good listener and very low maintenance. Taylor, I want you to meet Barb. Barb Taylor. Aren't you gonna say hi? Hi, Barb. That's right. Now, Barb, this gentleman is going to take care of you from now on, and I want you to be nice to him, stay with him, and make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. Carol, I don't know how to take care of a fish. It's not organic chemistry. Anybody he's seen Max? Oh, he's late as usual. Um, Excuse me. Uh, you, that's, I'll be right you, I'm gonna talk to her. Talk to her. Check a top up, sir. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I just had one. I'm, I'm, your friend? Don't ask him. You feeling any better? Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I just think I had too much to drink. You know. Good. What do you think of those three artists over there? <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll see. Usually, I don't mind a little mustache, but I think that is out of the question. <laughs> that's all I've got to say. <laughs> uh -huh. What are you two delinquents up to? Max, you missed the whole party, buddy. <laughs> hey, Slick, it wasn't my birthday, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but I did have to close a little deal. Cubans. Mm-hmm. 250 a box, baby, and I got a box for you in the car. I love you, Max. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Deep. Oh, I'll oh, this so fish. Hey, I hope birthday you don't boy, mind. I got a little something for you. <laughs> no, here for me? Too. Yeah, for yeah. you, buddy. And we're going to open this downstairs. You want to come with us, Deep? Oh, uh, I think I'm going to go Check out some art. Yeah. Right. And save the two brunettes for me, will you? Yeah. Hey. You want know, a little cracker and some cheese? Yeah, maybe in Carol's office. This is supposed to be numero uno. It was grown on the luscious hill in Bordeaux by a one-legged man named Pepe. <laughs> And it was uh, bottled in 1971, the year of your birth. And my marriage. And Pepe's untimely divorce. Let it breathe now. That's kind of weird. It's dog shit. I spent 400 on this garbage. I'm, I'm sorry. You'd let it breathe a little bit. Let it breathe nothing. See if there's any beer in there. God. Okay. <coughs> and luck. Two Millers. Oh, good. Yeah, well, it's Miller time now. Get this taste out of my mouth. Taylor, I'm getting old. Seems like yesterday that I was toasting your arrival with champagne. It was pretty good stuff, too. Your mom, she'd bring you by to visit. You know, like the son I never had. Look at you now. And me. And that's our future, Taylor Briggs. Never turns out the way you think it's gonna. Yeah, well, cheers to that. 
<laughs> you gonna still help me move my mom's stuff? I'll buy the beer. Well, how am I gonna move the stuff if I'm drunk? Hasn't hurt your golf game, has it? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I haven't told you sport, Do. Well, Nick dropped the ball in the outfield and lost the game. Oh, man, I'm sorry. What are you do? You know, I've been working with him. I don't know. You look like shit. Thanks, you're a good friend, dude. Yeah. Hey, little man. Hey, bud. What's up, Taylor? Uh, nothing. What do you mean, nothing? There's always got to be something. You're right, there's something. Hey, Nick, check this out. Yeah, you just build on that. You got it. <laughs> it happened again. What, puberty? No, I saw the guy in the trench coat. So who's this guy? That's just it, I don't know, I, I can't see his face. Taylor, you banged the crap out of your head in that hotel room. You know, concussions can cause memory loss, memory regression, all kinds of stuff, you know this. That's just it, it's not my memory. He had a newspaper dated March 21st, 1971, in his car. Okay, so why is this guy walking around with an old newspaper? It wasn't old at the time. Let me get this straight. You're telling me you're seeing things that happened a year prior to your birth? Why are you treating this so seriously? Just humor me, will you? Test the powder. His master's they says. Dream of the dead. William Terrell. 
part of an ancient worldwide religion, red okra was used as a body dye by man and his ancestors for almost two million years. As a geneticist, I intend on traveling to Brazil. The Amazonian Indians are the last to practice this once universal ceremony. Covered in red ochre, they are branded with a symbol before they ingest the sacred powder. As they claim to see through the eyes of their dead ancestors. discovered here is that we're not really drawing this scene at all but merely trying to capture the light it's giving off the object is always an illusion okay we'll continue this next week I'm Stephanie Jacobs what can I do for you uh, my name is Taylor Briggs Hi. Um, I'm interested in uh, buying one of your paintings you buy a lot of art Taylor Briggs only the good stuff great work this week. You buy hot chocolate? I graduated med school 10 years ago. So go on. And then I decided I didn't want to be a doctor at all. You sound more confused than I am. Well, I know I didn't want to work for the HMOs or the insurance companies because I don't give two shits about helping people. And I finished my residency and became a researcher. What do you research? Alzheimer's syndrome. So, you like the painting of the man in the coat? What makes you say that? It's my only painting on the market right now. Right. Um... What made you... What made you create it? Oh, I don't know. I came home one day and it just sort of... Painted itself. You sell a lot of paintings? No, not many. Mostly teach, which is actually what I have to do right now. Bye, Dr. Briggs. Goodbye. It's sand. And I wanted to be sure. So I smoked it. Cute. Good shit. Taylor, it's sand. And 4% ground up cerebral tissue. Uh, great. Brain. Yeah. Yeah, I found traces of melatonin, which is only from the pineal gland. Pineal, huh? Yeah, it's just trace amounts, okay? I even ran some samples on some of the lab rats. Came back as nothing. It had no effect. What am I seeing? A fucking fantasy world here? You have another theory? You know that patient in Brazil? It was an American geneticist named William Terrell. He was doing a study on a remote tribe of Indians that were engaged in this ancient ceremony. It dates back like over two million years. It involves ingesting a sacred powder. I think Terrell, I think he stole it. I think I got exposed to it and my goddamn glove ripped. The crazy part is this, these Indians, I think it lets you see through the eyes of your dead ancestors. You can see things and images happened before you were born. Are you serious? You're, you're spouting mystic mumbo jumbo? The lab rats showed no changes. It's nothing. What am I supposed to do? Go get laid. Actually, I met a girl the other day. She's an artist. Oh, really? I thought you didn't go for that. No, she's no ordinary artist. Oh, she paint naked? You're an idiot. She did this painting. I liked it. She was all business, though. She blew me off. See? 
That's why you like her. Mm -hmm. That about covers it. So thank you for everything. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. gland is actually the ancient remains of a primordial eye pointing straight up out of the head. The pineal gland also creates DMT, the most powerful hallucinogenic known to science. DMT is often attributed to out-of-the-body experience described in near-death situations. me that no you scared me i was improvising so what did you come over here for well you, you know when h2o cools to a certain temperature it forms this solid uh called um ice that's it and uh you know sometimes people like to strap blades to the bottoms of their feet and glide across it so you know i was wondering um if uh well do you like having fun? <laughs> it's funny, I used to come here all the time as a kid. This is an abandoned building. When was the last time you skated? I have to admit it's been a while, you know. Well, it's probably better this way. Skating's not my forte. Yeah, well, what'd you do as a kid? Not much. You didn't skate, you didn't swim or anything. No, I nearly drowned when I was little. Well, that'll put a damper on things, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was sick for a long time. But being cooped up inside all the time got me into art. So... Yeah. This place is <laughs> over. Well, this... This was a unique experience. I don't really hang out in condemned buildings much. Well, give me a couple days, I could talk that. Try me. Running out of space in here. Well, Max and I are gonna move her stuff this weekend. Don't worry. Hall closet, hall closet. Thanks, nurse ratchet.
there's a clearing. Keys. Come on. Taylor, it's a coincidence. Come on, there's a freezer right where I remember it being 30 years ago. Yeah, but you saw it in a clearing, not in a lake. It was three decades ago, man. The, the lake here would have changed by then. Come on. You're still dating this off a newspaper from a dream? I found the exact place from my dream, just like I remembered. It had a lake, it had trees, it had three mountain peaks. All because you saw a photo of your mom up there in 71. I mean, it's plausible she took you up there as a kid, and maybe the memory sat dormant in your subconscious. Maybe that's why you see yourself in these visions. No. Fine. Then give me a rational explanation as to how you can see things that ever happened before you were even born. I can't. So how's the artist doing? Steph? She's good, thanks. Coming to the Wednesday dinner. She's going to Wednesday dinner? Yeah. You're gonna introduce her to Max before me? Yeah, I gotta break her in slowly. I wanna make sure she likes me before I introduce her to you. <laughs> Steph, this is my mom's friend, Carol. How nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. You know, you look familiar. Well, I'm a painter. Ah, uh, maybe I saw you at an opening. Yeah, probably. You know, I've heard of your gallery. Well, good. You know, uh, Steph did a painting of, of, a, of a man in a trench coat. I thought it was really interesting. And... Oh. I uh, stalked her and made her go out with me. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, I'd love to see your work sometime. Sure, anytime. So, is Max a great cook? I wouldn't really use that word uh, great. I mean, it's burnt. more like burnt. <laughs> yes, burnt. <laughs> well, how do you guys all know each other? I met Alicia, that's Taylor's mother, at Mass General, where she trained with Max. You're a doctor as well? No, 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 no. I went there to get stitched up one time, and Alicia took care of me, and we've been friends ever since. Oh. How's it going? <laughs> it's going to be great. I picked up yeah. some choice chops at the store. Steph. Stephanie. Max. Taylor has been very evasive about you to all of us. Now, I'm going to want a full report, and I'm willing to share information. Well, Max, I we're gonna have to talk. My two loves were medicine and Jenny. I miss her more than life itself. But boy, she could get under my skin like nobody. I like the painting. Oh, yeah? She always wanted to be an astronaut, so I had that made for her birthday years ago. It's been up there so long, I never even thought about taking it down. Yeah, not now. So, how are the chops? Well done. No, no, no. That's black and Cajun style. Now, no one can resist uh, lamb chops a la max. <laughs> so, the way you watch it now, both of you. So are you going to brief me on Taylor here? Oh, listen, I've got the whole story on him no, right no, in the no, living room. No, no. You know, I think it's getting a little late. I think we should be going. Oh, no problem. no problem. No so. problem. We'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Get in there, brother. Get in there. Evil. Oh, come on. Skip that for tonight. Oh, you, you know, know I don't do like that. a mess. 
in anybody's house. Come on. You know, my new screening room has got everything. I just don't know how to turn it on. Nope. Gotta be this. All right, there we go. Which one are you? I'm the one scoring the touchdown, naturally. <clears throat> That's me in my stud days. Look how young Carolyn Mom went. <laughs> See, we're a bunch of showboaters. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Fast forward. It took us about two months to uh, talk his mom into this deal. That took all of about five seconds. And it took, uh, <clears throat> well, I had to listen to his mom for the next five years about it. That was back when Taylor's mom and I worked in Mass General Hospital. Carol. Is that you and your mom? <laughs> yeah, me and my Jenny. I can see they're kind of like parents to you. Yeah. So where are your parents? Ah, that. <laughs> uh, my mother is here in Boston. And as for my father, I never knew him. He died before I was born. I know what that's like. I was adopted. Well, Taylor Briggs, it's a chilly night. Wouldn't watch it catch a cold. <laughs> Barb, how's the water temperature? Huh? I'm better. and Frost perished with her father. The burning vehicle collided with a tree. Taylor, what do you want me to say? 
Huh? You tell me there's some guy out there kidnapping little girls before we were even born? Yeah, well, all the facts are coming together. Facts? Allison Frost died in a car accident. Her body was found, ID'd, and buried. Facts. Fact. I saw her March 21st, 1971. One, she was alive. Two, she, her tooth had grown in. Which proves she didn't die in a goddamn car accident. Taylor, you're refuting documented news articles with your own dreams? I found her. I pulled her name on the internet. She exists. Jessica Arnold. I just pulled her out of thin air. I even thought she'd be a brunette. Come on. Paula James. Maybe you saw a picture of her and your mind just filled in the gaps. Paula James. She's hot. Oh, shit, man, come on. I'm not making this up. What I'm feeling is fucking real. I don't care. Close the door behind you. Find a good hot dog these days. Uh, very simple. See the big red letters up there? You got your on, you got your off. Channel, volume. <laughs> Give it a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Dun, dun, dun. This is. Really good. Yeah, it's my first. I got it, don't I? Yeah, I have to admit, you, you've got talent. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. I'm kind of busy here. Mm -hmm. Take your time. It smells good. Hey, hello. That wasn't there, was it? Watch it. Sorry. I live here alone? Yeah, I like space. Original uh, Stephanie Jacobs. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. I hope you're hungry. Perfect if you drank beer and played poker too. I don't want to play high stakes. I got no problem with that. This is gonna hurt. Get the comeback. Take it off. Is this what you want to see? You're the one who wanted the high stakes. At least I know I'm going to bed a winner. taking you home to meet him. <laughs> Besides, they're retired and travel a lot. Yeah, show them a few magic tricks. Yeah, they're not into magic. All right, they don't get it good with a brother. Brothers overseas in the military. They don't get in good with a dog. Dog's dead. And I'm fucked. <laughs> See? Yeah, I'm thirsty. How about some water? Oh, that's a good idea. That sounds great. I'll get that. <laughs>
were great. Daddy, I don't like it here as much, though. The water's too cold. We're lucky to be in here after hours at all, okay? and Frost this time. It was a different girl. It's crazy. I kind of became him. Oh, God damn it. He felt like he was... He knows what he's doing is wrong. And he, um... would do anything to try to stop it. And... It's as if he's lost something and he's trying to get it back. What's he lost? A child. I saw him kidnap a little girl out of the locker room and he started some fire and he did a, oh God, I'm a date from hell, I'm sorry. <laughs> this happened recently? Uh, this happened over 30 years ago. There's more. What? Looks like the figure in your painting. Why didn't you tell me this before? It sounds so nuts. How could I? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fire at community college. Lisa Mullins, her father, and an unidentified second child perished. This is her. But you didn't say anything about a second child in the janitor's closet. I, I don't know. This is the girl. The other little girl was never identified. You sure about this? I don't. I'm not sure about anything. But is this community? College still around? Sure. Gas tanks, your yeah, gas tanks. Start a fire. It started prematurely. Oh god, this stuff is real, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get out of here. In a minute. Taylor. Thanks. I know what the second body is for. Yeah. What if every time it takes a little girl, 
He leaves a surrogate body in her place. Somebody's gonna notice the corpse isn't the same girl. Not if it's burnt beyond recognition. The dental record's inconclusive. They didn't have DNA testing them. Yeah, but Taylor, he didn't take Lisa Mullins. Exactly. But the fire it started prematurely, right? He didn't have time to switch the bodies. That's why they found Lisa's dad, Lisa, and another body meant to replace her. So you think he switched out a body for Alison Frost, too? No one ever saw that car hit the tree. No one ever saw that fire break out. All they found was a burnt car, burnt bodies. We have no idea what happened then. Finding a girl replacement's not easy. Oh God, what if he's switching the... What if he's switching the last ones with the next? Look, Taylor, this is irrelevant. You know, if this stuff happened over 30 years ago, isn't it too late to help them now? Vasquez, house fire. Bonnie McHale burned to death in a forest fire. Taylor Briggs. You're in a good mood. Yeah, well, to be honest, I, uh, I've been hanging out with this girl that I met at your birthday party. Oh, really? Yeah, she's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? You're gonna kill me. I'm gonna need a favor. I need some old coroner reports. You want fries with that, too? I just need three files, okay? Surely you can get them through the med school. Look, I'll do it this time, okay? But you are really starting to creep me out. Come in for some tests. Do it. I'll be in. Deal. Thank you. Between an accordion and an onion. I don't know. What's the difference between, between an accordion, accordion and, and an, an onion? onion. Nobody cries when you cut up an accordion. <laughs> you find that really funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's a sympathy no. line. No. Maybe that's just a sympathy yeah. line. The only body that was unrecognizable, Bonnie McHale. What happened to her? Went missing on a scout trip in New Hampshire four months ago. Get this, a fire breaks out. The only thing they find are the unrecognizable remains of Bonnie McHale. He took her, I know it. It's just like he did with Allison and Lisa back in 71. Hello. Be right over. Some of the uh, advanced lab works came back on the powder. We found traces of dimethyltryptamine. Dimethyl what? DMT. It's uh, the, one of the most powerful hallucinogenics known. It's created in the pineal gland and secreted in the brain at the point of death. It's thought that it might numb the experience of death. Do you remember the uh, rats I gave the samples to? Yeah. One of them turned out to be pregnant. Now, we didn't think anything of it until one of the babies got in here. Those are our other two babies. How many times has he done that? Oh, this is his first. He's never done this before? No, but his mother has. How long did it take for her to learn? Three months. 
What are you saying? I wish I had some more of this powder to test, but it's all gone. All I can say now is that it appears that the powder has given this litter of rats their mother's memories of this maze. How could memories be transferred between organisms? This powder is lighting up the same primordial areas. Stuff dealing with instincts and long-term memories. You know, the only thing is, how can memories be passed from a parent to a child? Do you remember the Human Genome Project? 95% of our DNA serves no purpose in our life function. So? So, what if our genes store the memories of our parents? Right up to the point of birth. What if the DNA link is severed right at that point? David, I don't know what to tell you. Wait a minute. These memories would have to come from... Someone with a direct genetic link, like a mother. Or a father. My mom's personal stuff. I don't know why she didn't put these photos in albums. Scout clubs hike up in those mountains. What? If he kidnapped Barney McHale, then he knew she was going to be up there. He knew her. Wait, where where are you going? Come on, Ricky. We're going to be late. Let's go, buddy. This is really messed up. Don't you think this is a little too far? Just call me on the cell phone if they get back. B1 is now online. Message received from Lee's Shit!
You dying, Taylor? Never better. Nick, give down a minute, okay? Okay. See you, sport. What's happening? You went into a seizure. Steph brought you in. You've been here all night. Okay. I ran an MRI scan. Oh, great. I'm gonna end up like Taro. Slow down. The anomalies are still small. And you only touched it that once, right? Oh, yeah, just once. Okay, so I think you'll be fine, but you need to get some rest. DMT's dangerous. Well, you need to get me out of here. Gotta... Taylor, I can't release you. Get me out of here, goddammit. Deep, I know what I'm seeing right now. I don't care if I walk out of here bare ass, you're gonna get me the hell. But what you're out seeing doesn't make sense. Out of all a person could remember, why are you seeing these things? Hey. Will you tell him to take it easy, all right? He's not listening to me anymore. Yeah, my earliest memory is burning my finger on a sparkler on the 4th of July. What's yours? Getting a tube shoved down my throat in the hospital when I was sick. Okay, trauma, right? Regret. I'm seeing his regrets. Why regrets? Because regrets, the highs, the lows, these are the only things we remember from our lives. It's the only thing that would be passed on from organism to offspring, don't you see? What did you see this time? I saw Allison again. He took her to a shack in the woods and he made a cast impression of her face. Is he in love with them? It's like there's children. No, that's not sexual. It's, it's more like a parent's love. It's like he's trying to help them. He's trying to help them. He's yeah. keeping them in fridges. Let's go to the cops. And to tell them what? That I'm getting all this from a dream? They wouldn't believe me. It's better than breaking into houses. Open. Anybody could be Yeah, I know. Here. I came to see Alicia, and this place was a mess. I wasn't really expecting company, Carol. Uh, you, know, I... you haven't thrown out the garbage in three days. Hello, Stephanie. Hi. Whew. You know, I would love to drop by and see your work. I've worked out of my loft on, on Newberry, so anytime. Great. Carol. Something I want to ask you. Sure. Is there anything you can tell me about my father? What's this all about? You know those, um, all those alternative journals you, you've been giving me with the yes. past life regressions and the yes. channeling whoever? Well, uh, have you ever come across something that has to do with seeing your parents' memories? No. What have you been seeing? Is this my dad's car? How would I know that? I don't know. You guys are friends, right? You know your mother never liked to talk about it. She was very young. And I think that he hurt her very much. Maybe Max knows. Max was the chief resident at Mass General, and your mother was an intern, and I was the patient. Right. This was after she had uh, ended it with your father. And I really have no idea whose car that is. OK. Thanks. Oh, you have to forget about the past. Just move forward. And would you please, please get some rest? This was his username on Bonnie's computer. You ever hear that? No. Nothing. Hey, look at this.
Cap seal appears in a shining blast of light. You gotta be kidding me. He was the angel of death of her little children. He was cast out of heaven. He took no interest in boys, but dedicated himself to preserving the innocence of little girls. This is really scaring me. That's why you can't be around here anymore. What? I may not have these memories in my head, but I'm part of this now. I know, and that, that's the problem. I, I don't, I don't know where this is going. I'm... That's it? Yeah. You're being ridiculous. Why are you acting like because this? Because I don't think you should be here right now. I don't think you should be with me right now, and I think you should go right now. <laughs> Get out, please. Get out! Ready to move? Max, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. What the hell have you been doing, Rip Van Winkle? I left three messages for you. Man, I haven't been feeling too good, man. No shit. Viral? Know, probably, maybe. Well, we don't need to move this shit today. You smoke, buddy? No, it's fine. I think I'll just stick around and nurse myself a beer. You looking at my shoes? Yeah. They're really cool. Where'd you get those? I've had these forever. I mean, I use them to just, uh, you know, like, you know, fart around the house in them. They're back in style. I'll get you a pair, pal. Are you okay? Deep says that you need to get laid. Now that's Steph, huh? She's great looking to me, I think, huh? No, if I'm, uh, if I don't lie down, I don't know what I'm gonna do, Max. Okay, I can go rent myself some DVDs or something. I'm okay. sorry, man. No, 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 no. You get some rest, buddy. Okay, pal. Have a good night. Bye bye.
Stop, come on! Not! doing here Two copies of all my stuff
psych evaluation report. Carol Barbara Hargrave. Abducted for three years before killing her abductor. Patient raped and impregnated by a deceased abductor. by Dr. Alicia Briggs. Witnessed by Max. Biological mother. Carol Briggs. Why didn't you tell me? You don't want to know about your real father. He was a story that no one wants to know. Why'd you have to kill Max? I made it look like you did it. Max wasn't your father. But he was the last link to the adoption. I had to kill him so that I wouldn't have to.
Sergio, my own son. You're gonna have to kill me now. You will never take this away from me. Where's Bonnie? Be calm, Taylor. I know what you've seen. But every memory has to have an end. It'll go in a blinding light. And it'll just get colder and colder. But unlike you, they will live on forever. Goodbye, Taylor. Goodbye, Taylor. Goodbye. Pro with those new glasses, buddy. Nice. Good news. Clean bill of health. You fucker. Why'd you say that? I said you're lucky, Buster, because you're going to get a pizza after the game. It's good to be alive, Deep. Yeah, it is. She'll always be my mother and me. This was her favorite room in the house. If she were alive, she would want you to work here. Nick to the game for it kills me. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. 
thank you. Yeah, for what? Everything. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Is there anything else a big, strong man can do before we leave? Yes, certainly. You can lug that upstairs for me. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Anything interesting? Well, if you find a kid's keepsakes interesting, check it out by all means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay? Uh huh. So, did you break anything? Taylor? Are you okay? Why did you get this? I don't know. I, I had it on me in the hospital when they pulled me out of the water. Is Stephanie Jacobs your real name? The Jacobs named me that when they adopted me. I don't remember my real name. Why? Taylor, why? Baby's gone to God knows where. No, the ending wasn't perfect, but the truth is it was worth it. Cause I filled my cup and I lost my head. Was as close to perfect as it can. It was almost beautiful It was almost beautiful It was almost Under 